What's going on everyone? Today's video is going to be a video talking about Murder Mystery 2 updates. All right, we don't usually talk about this because there is no Murder Mystery 2 updates. But excitingly <laughs> enough, we have some intel that has been leaked through the community and we're going to share that with you guys. Like we usually say that we're always going to tell you guys every time there is something coming out. Um, ever since we made that last video on the Nicholas tweet after he went to RDC and he tweeted that he's going to make like the biggest... Uh, update for the award that kind of tweet if it was a meme or if it was legit uh that was the last time we talked about this and you guys all uh really what the oh my god it's Didi, but red hello red Didi. you guys all really like that and you guys were really excited about it obviously uh we all love mm2 and we all get really excited when there's potentially something new coming to the game and joven we obviously know what's that sound here come let's go in here actually okay, no. good. it's secret too... secret secret spot yeah. to talk about the leaks yeah exactly the leak okay. truck Yes, this is the secret leak track. All these boxes tell are me. all these boxes are filled with intel, dude. Okay, tell me, open the box. Okay, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Open. All right, so first things first, you know, it's uh end of September. Nicholas updates obviously every Halloween. He's never missed a Halloween update, and we could probably guarantee he won't miss this year's Halloween update. Although he usually releases his Halloween updates, uh, I think it was what is it around October twentieth? I think yeah, it's, it's like pretty late. Yeah, it's usually at the end of the month, like from October 20th to obviously uh, October like 31st, like on Halloween. Close the door. Get back in. Show me the oh, leaks. Okay, sorry, sorry, dude. I gotta, we gotta not die. If we die, okay. we're not allowed to talk about leaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Tell me, tell me. We have tell to talk. Me. Okay, so we, yeah, like we said, we had a lot of uh, leaks on Discord uh, that, well, not on Discord, but like someone through Discord has been messaging me. Well, different people uh, from through Twitter at different places. I don't even know how people are finding this information, but let's show you guys. So, um, Nicholas has been in the studio a lot recently. A lot of people have been messaging me saying they're seeing him online a lot more, obviously in studio, working, which is pretty exciting. And obviously, oh, someone also, also talked about uh, the other devs. I think I don't have a use also uh, working as well so uh, that kind of leads us to believe that maybe he's working on some of the halloween stuff pretty early it makes sense that i don't have a use as working on uh some halloween stuff we can confirm that joven is not working on a halloween map right now so the other person that it could be is obviously xylik the other map builder so if we know it's not joven it's xylik and but the thing is xylik is usually the one to make the uh, halloween maps like he made uh what is it farmhouse right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the lobbies as well and he makes the lobbies. So uh, it, it makes sense. It's not like just because Joe is not making it that it's not going to happen. So Zylik is probably working on a new lobby. I'm, I mean, obviously for the new update. So that's probably why they're in studio. But Nicholas and what he's been working on. And we actually have intel that it's not just the Halloween update. So let's, show, let's pull up the first thing that we want to show you. So this first thing has nothing to do with Halloween. But let's talk about it together. This is this. This picture right here. I'm not sure if it's been out before, but it has resurfaced recently. Um, and this is instead of gems, guys, it's keys. So as you can see, it's a key system instead of gems. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be something for season two, Joven. It could be. So this picture of these keys is going to replace the shop. So you guys see how these keys, you, instead of buying gems, or sorry, not shop, but it's going to buy uh, replace the gem shop. But at the top of this picture, you still see the gems. No, so I'm not going to replace the gems because the gems you don't think so? are used to buy radios. Well, not radios, but emotes and oh. stuff. Some of them are worth gems. You're totally right. Yeah, look, you, you can use the are. gems to even buy one key. Okay, so and this UI of like a bunch of keys, like what do you think that's leaning towards though? Do you think that's leaning towards just like making it more of like a key economy vibe? I think, yeah, that and maybe you get like nice discounts on keys because you buy oh, bundles. Look, right now it's 125 for a key. Okay, and in the picture, one it's key is, is 100, and then four keys. And then look, when you buy you get more, bonuses. There's, bon there's bonuses. There's 300. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Wait, three keys, 10, and 30. So much cheaper. That's so much cheaper. That's technically, but technically it's only 100 gems to open a box. So he's, Nick basically made the oh, keys. Oh, I see that. Nicholas made the keys a little bit more expensive at 125 because you can open any box with one, and I think they're tradable. Yes. Uh, so that's why they're more expensive. But if he evens it out to like a hundred gems for the keys, uh, that will obviously change the economy a bit. Maybe people will trade keys more. People will be buying keys. That'll be kind of cool. So maybe this has something to do with season two. Maybe he's just a, a way that he wants to clean up the game. But that's our first screenshot. These keys, he could uh, uh, use them a lot more in the the economy for people that can trade. I feel like keys should be the values on like supreme values 
and MM2 values instead of like these like invisible numbers. They don't even use Sears anymore. They, they just say like points, a value amount to just uh, see what these godlies are worth and ancients and all that. That's true. So if he did that, it would actually change a lot. I think it would actually affect a lot of values and a lot of things like that. That's really true. I, I'm surprised that it's not like that already, but I think it's because the keys right now are 25 gems more than like a regular box. But I feel like it still should be a staple currency to, yeah. to trade godlies with, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's like you said, maybe it's because it's a little bit more, so it doesn't make sense. But either way, it will be a decent change. And it does seem like a change that would get implemented uh, in what we're calling season two this is what we have next this leak looks like a new way for the ui to look when you're loading into a game or it's something old i'm actually not entirely sure if this is something older or new but it is cool it says how to play on the right which is kind of cool right like teaching new players oh i see i think he did something similar to this before in the old mm but i think he's bringing it back it well, yeah, like it. yeah, but because... that looks like hardcore because it says November. That's one of the call tags in uh, the hardcore mode. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm kind of confused because it says November. I like that it says loading map like that at the bottom. Yeah. The map chosen at the top is cool. What? But what I found interesting, guys, is it says game mode, right? Oh, game you're mode. Right. I didn't even catch that. Game mode is a big one because if the fact that it's saying game mode means that there would probably be more than just normal and hardcore right like it would be a normal mode Ooh. and maybe season two it like has bonus modes coming because we're seeing a game mode role like maybe that would make a lot of sense going I into think there coming back dude if we get juggernaut or like infection back that would be so fun to play on mm2 i know those were our favorites and obviously a lot of people you guys didn't really get to experience it unless you're an og player let us know if you guys did get to experience those mini games but that's what this kind of screenshots giving me those vibes it definitely doesn't look finished there is two pictures on the left maybe that's going to be like what gun and mer and knife you're using that are not filled in there yeah. yeah but what do you guys think about it again let us know in the comments your takes on all these uh and then like let's just all talk in the comments and kind of try to figure out what these all have to do with anything so dude i think this is this is a, a new ui for season two I, it can be. It really could be. I, I don't see why it can't be. And then the next one, uh, this one's not that crazy, but this is something that has already been out. Obviously, the Bioblade came out with Jovin's map uh, at research facility at the same time. And this is kind of how it looked, but I don't think it had the timer in the top right. Yeah, that's definitely new. So this would like encourage players to... Uh, like have a sense of urgency to purchase like the, the yeah. game pass for the bundle. exactly yeah like the fact that there's a timer maybe that means that nick wants to start maybe he's practicing using like old ui like this bioblade ui and he's just putting a timer testing it out get it now back to shop and there's an actual timer that will just remove it so then he doesn't have to anymore or something oh. like that because like right now if you go to the shop guys obviously it looks like this you just buy it and then that's it you move on so maybe he's working with a timer a lot of popular games are incorporating timers into their shop stuff uh to make the urgency right so <laughs> yeah because nightblade if nightblade had a timer that would have been nice but nightblade was literally on sale for months yeah year dude i swear that <laughs> was, was it a year it was like a year bro yeah, I don't so mean... now people will probably uh, be more inclined to buy these game passes now that there is a timer because yeah they, <laughs> they'll be guaranteed to not be as long as nightblade and then we'll have something to look forward to like oh maybe in like 48 days or whatever it says there will be a new shop godly so it's kind of cool yeah. for us too maybe we'll give us a time frame on when an update will come and yeah that's that one guys and moving on to the next one really quickly speaking of nightblade this is the nightblade uh shadow item pack it, this is another picture but with the same idea on the right you can see the timer so i'm not sure if he was working with two different ideas um one was a bundle and one was just like a singular bio blade but both of them had the same timer i'm pretty sure they have the exact yeah they have the exact same time on both of them so and it even says two days left so this is exactly what we just explained with the bio blade nothing really different except it was on a different type of shop and the last one joven is a very interesting one it says 1v1 on a ui with a little oh. knife that's what do we think so i don't know in vip servers there's already a 1v1 mode so is that like a like public official 
kind of server you join to 1v1 people? I don't know. Yeah, because, well, you can't really see because I'm in the way, but right here in the bottom of the UI, right here, it would be right above mute. So maybe you're in a public server because, dude, it has to be, Jovan, that that can't be a private server because there's no lobby mode button. I mean, there's no, like, lobby settings button there. Yeah, that looks like a public uh, server button. So how would that work in public service 1v1? Yeah, so is it like you could just challenge someone to a 1v1 Ooh. and then, like, you go to a separate thing? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I I but think it's that... ranked. Oh, I think it's the ranked dude, mode that's that a had in the testing. Server that's so couple, true. Couple of year... was it years? It's probably years. It's probably a year, over a year for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Nick had like a small ranked one v one. I do remember that. I don't know if you that guys really do as fun. well. Joe and grinded that a lot. It was really cool. You first someone, and if you win, your rank obviously goes up. If you lose, it goes down. Maybe that's what that will be. I think that would be a really cool touch. I, I'm not sure. That could be something to do with season two. Like we said, guys, this is just intel that we wanted to bring to you guys. And what's cool is that it's nothing to do with Halloween. So obviously some cool stuff's happening. That's not just Halloween updates. So that's really exciting. Yeah, and once we figure out some Halloween leaks, you guys know we will yeah. obviously let you in on the know for the MM2 Halloween updates. Exactly. Anything, and I'm sure there should, should be some stuff rolling in relatively soon. We're moving into October, uh, which is really exciting. And yeah, we'll let you guys know on anything. There should, there should be, a, of course, a Halloween update. I'm really excited. Nick hasn't really told us anything. We... we we try to, but you know, we sometimes, like, we also are just kind of, we only know what the, the, the community knows. So, I think Nick's excited about something. He hasn't told us anything, but I feel like he will be making a cool Halloween update this year. But we'll see. Everything we figure out, like Jovan said, we will tell you guys. Yeah, we're hoping for some awesome updates this year, but we can't wait, dude. I'm so excited for Halloween. It's my favorite month for MM2. I mean, yeah. Christmas is good, too, but Halloween's just iconic for murder It mystery. makes more sense. Yeah, it's more of a vibe, like, like a murder mystery Halloween thing. Yeah. Well, if there's anything else, we'll let you guys know. What do you guys think about all these pictures and leaks? In the comments down below, let us know. Let's start a discussion down there. Leave a like if you guys want to see more leaks from us. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to cop our fire knife chains and plushies down below. Link in the description. You start go JD when you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium. <laughs> Check out our second channel where we upload different Roblox games every single day. So if you want more JD2 content, go check out our JD Roblox channel. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye from me. Bye from me.